what is it like that you're in the spotlight and then you're doing all of these amazing things and at the end of the day you go home, you put on Letterman and he's making comments about your weight and jokes about <laughs> no, the weight. Listen, that's How does that feel? Listen, that's David and, and I think I, I say to, to all the late night guys, because all of them have their shots with me, um, as long as they're funny, I don't mind. You know, if they're funny, I laugh with them. If they're not funny, then I, I'm bored. So, um, you know, if they can find ways to make it funny, that's their job. And, I, and, and I'm a regular Letterman watcher. I watch them all the time. So um, I have no problem with what David does. It's, it's, that's his shtick. That's what he does. I guess it comes with the territory. Yeah, you have to. I mean, if you're going to be thin-skinned about that stuff in, in this job, then you're not going to last long. So um, I do my job, but let them do theirs. Their job is to be funny. As long as they're funny, I'm okay. Your friend Bon Jovi, he goes out and he has this amazing concert and he says people are shouting, then he goes home and his kids are like, and yes, what, dad, yes. what? Exactly. Is that how it is for you oh, and your absolutely. children? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, my kids, like you saw my son was here today, he hasn't even been to one of these before. So my kids very much still see me just as their dad. I mean, they're they're aware of all the things that are happening right. around us and, and uh, they know that our lives are different now because of that. But inside the house, it's not a whole lot different than it was before. That's important, it although is. I'm sure that they're very proud of you. I think they are, but but it doesn't mean I get treated any better. <laughs> they still get treated like that, that's it. They still roll their eyes and Yes, exactly door. right. Well, I'm still not the boss of them. One of the things that that we love so much about you in my home um, is that, and we're Democrats, yep. as, you, as you know, yep. um, is that you're capable of just throwing that aside and do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Well, you get hired to do a job here, and the job is to represent the people of New Jersey, not just the Republicans, not just the Democrats, but everybody. Yeah. And he's the President of the United States, and I was always raised that you show great respect to the President of the United States, whether you voted for him or not, yeah. um, whether you support him or not. And he's, we have one president at a time. When he came here, he was showing great concern for the people of my state. And, uh, and he was doing a good job, and so I said he was doing a good job, and I wouldn't change anything about that time. Your governor is America's hero. What do you what do you make of all of this? I think it's well deserved. He is a star. He does deserve it. He's bigger than life. He's Jersey. They're hoping that you're going to run for president. <laughs> well, you know what? I got a re-election campaign here in New Jersey this year. I'm running for re-election, so I'm, I'm going to work on that first, and then we'll see if something happens in the future. But my job is to finish the job of fixing the state here. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>